Okay, guys. Just uh, look around here. My ponies I got in my stable. I promised you all I'd do a walk around on the Thruxton. Uh, took her about for a... Uh, 220 mile ride here on Sunday and I do have to say after five and a half hours of riding yeah my ass was numb uh, just some quick specs here on the bike it's got uh, 82 foot-pound of torque at 4950 rpm uh, 97 horsepower at uh, what are we at? Six, 6750 rpm uh the suspension it has let me see here you got the 41 millimeter uh kayabas in the front with 120 millimeters of travel and the kayaba twin shocks with adjustable preload on the rear the same uh, wheel travel it's got twin 310 millimeter discs on the front Loading calipers, uh, they're Nissan two piston ABS single 220 millimeter disc on the rear, Nissan also ABS. Um, it's got 17 inch wheels on it, front and rear. Uh, rear's five inches and the front's three and a half. It's got uh, Pirelli Angel GTs for tires, 3.8 gallon gas tank. Um, did really well. It, it's averaging around 54 miles a gallon. Like I said, only got 360 miles on or so now, I think. Um, okay, uh, just want to show you here quick while we're in the garage. Um, it's got this really cool parking light. You have to turn the key to the furthest setting. It's uh, that's the only time you can have it on by itself. Um, it's not on in the in the on position. Um, and also the rear tail lights on. As you can see, that's LED. Um, just wanted to give you the breakdown here. Out inside, I'm going to push it out and uh go over here a little bit better okay here we got her outside uh, like I, said, I like the white and black it's uh just seems a lot cleaner to me and it looks more old school um has this just the regular factory exhaust on it and it sounds really good especially if you're lugging it i mean them pipes they start barking sounds really well um there's the throttle bodies that look like carburetors. I think they look pretty sweet. I just they have the new different covers you can get. I think I'm gonna get get them for on it. Like I said, there's not a whole lot I want to do on this bike. Um, I just I like the look of it the way it is. Um, like I said, went about 220 miles on Sunday, and I uh, haven't had a chance to clean it up. So that way y'all can see. That's what you're going to be dealing with with uh, with the chain, but uh, this bike just wouldn't look right with a shaft drive on it. I, the uh, I think the chain, yeah, just the old school. And I pretty much used every bit of them tires. We went on a bunch of twisty roads, back roads, all the way here, South Central PA, down into Maryland. Really good ride, just. Nothing but twisties. Um, as you can see, the radiator they have it uh, engineered, designed pretty well that it you know, blends in. Can't really see it. Uh, there's them huge rotors with the Nissan brakes, the Kayaba forks. You got your fork gators there. Um, like the uh, bar ended mirrors uh, just my buddy I showed it to him today and he uh, he thought it was an old bike that I restored and uh, it's like nope it's a new one he 
I was pretty cool. Um, like I said, the, the headlight there, as you can see, it's got uh, adjustable controls on it there, the, the, uh, the levers, both clutch and brake. So that's nice. You can kind of tailor them a little bit to what you like. Um, here on this side, there's the uh, the kickstand that I told you I just wasn't crazy about, but yeah, I haven't heard of anybody having any problems with them. Um, like I said, I just I don't know. But like I said, overall, I, the bike is great. We'll uh, turn it on here so you can see what's going on on the dash. Okay. As you can see there, it gives you how many miles you have left in your tank. Um, and then also, you got a graph down below that for your fuel level. Uh, it tells you if you're in road mode. And all you got to do for your modes is this button here. You just press that, sport. We can go to rain. Back to road. Nothing to it. Uh, just if you're riding, pull the clutch in. And uh, it's good to go. Um, then over here, you got your uh, info button. Okay, we have our odometer there, and it's telling us what we're gear we're in. We're in neutral. There's our trip one, trip two. That's our instant miles per gallon. Since we're not running, we're not going to have anything there. And our average, we're doing 53.8. That's pretty good on a brand new engine. Should get a little bit better. Um, time traction control on ABS on back to the odometer gives you your uh, your neutral indicator there low fuel got your ABS and other gauges here oil pressure check engine light um, high beam is over here turn signal indicators Uh, just the turn signal indicator and the horn button down here. They're pretty close together. And this is the uh, fuel cap also. you got to use the key to open that up. Um, some guys complain. Yeah, you, know, you got to go. There's no tether. you got to take it off completely. I just sit up on the gas pump and leave my key in it. So that way I don't forget it because I'm going to go air without the key. Um, I do want to get heated grips for it. And like I said, I wanted to check the Bonneville. You can get cruise control. You're, you get this piece and the wiring harness. Um, having them check to see if I can get put that on here if it would work. Um, it's really... I'm happy with the bike so far. It uh, it ran flawless. Handled the curves well, and uh, highly recommend get, getting one. Um, also, if you wanted to see under the seat here, I just take the key. See if I can do this with one hand. <laughs> Okay, there you go. Seat lifts up. There's your battery. Easy to get at. Um, electronics. Um, here's your uh, USB port. You can hook your uh, electronics to. That's nice. Right there under the seat, ready to go. And it also has this uh, cool storage place here where the cow is puts your stuff in there but I have like I said whenever I got it part of the deal was I wanted the two up comfort seat so that I imagine that'll be gone um, but who knows when that'll get in because uh, they're on back order um, it's a good little bike so Hope you enjoyed this. If uh, 
if you did let me know we'll get some more you know be safe